Hey Legionnaires and welcome back with some more NTW3 for you today and we have a glorious 4v4 as we have three British armies joined by a Russian army as well which is an interesting Russian army we'll put it like that um, and they are facing today four French armies and uh, I'm not entirely sure what French armies they are but uh, we do have four here and yes we have a Russian army over here entirely made up of cavalry really um, apart from its horse artillery here um, it is entirely made up of cavalry, so we're going to see a lot of Russian cav today. Whether this strategy will work for the Allies, I don't know. Whether it will uh, actually be their undoing, we will have to find out. But it seems like we're having a bit of a cavalry showdown over here. And uh, it seems like we are going to see uh, like maybe some Russian cav already. Maybe make moves to go up this hill. Take this hill from the French. There is a lot of French cav up here as well, though. I wonder if they've seen... How much Russian cav there is up here, and just thrown as much cav as they can at this. There are also there is also uh, some British cav over here. We've got some like uh, Ullens here because we have the UK uh, Netherlands uh, army, we have UK Portugal, and we also have UK Peninsula as well. So uh, yeah, it'll be interesting to see how much cav the French have, and if they can deal with all of the Allied cav. Because I'm sure the British have also brought some of their own. Um, actually, I can even I can confirm that they can. We can see some here. We've got some hussars. Got some uh, horse artillery. What else we got? What else have we got in the way of cab? Oh, plenty over here. Look at this. We've got hussars. We've got lo yeah, lots of kings, Irish hussars, Prince of Wales hussars, and then they've got the Queen's light dragoons as well. And um, what else we got? We've got some like Portuguese cavalry here. Yeah, they've got plenty of cab. They've got loads and loads of cab. You can see Prince of Wales dragoon guards as well. They've got brought some of the uh, the elite cavalry of the Peninsular Army. These guys will do very very well, I am sure. And uh, yeah, that seems like all of the Allied Cav, to be fair, actually. Um, I imagine France has got not as much, though. I'm, I'm not going to lie. I feel like no French army has brought... No, none of the French armies brought an entire French army. Like, French... Uh, none of the French armies brought an entire Cav army. There we go. Got there eventually. Um, but we've got, like, Cavalier... Cavalier Guard. I presume this is just, like, Guard Curassius or something like that. They look really, really nasty, though. And I'm sure they cost a fair amount. But yeah, yes, if you're enjoying seeing NTW3 on the channel and would like to see some more, then do remember to leave a like, subscribe if you're around here, and a comment to show your support. As always, guys, it's very much appreciated. And if you want to see more uh, NTW3 action, you want to make sure you don't miss out on any, make sure as well to hit that notification bell uh, so you never miss a upload. Because uh, there are plenty, and there will be plenty more to come. I've got lots of historical battles and lots of battle replays you guys are sending that I've got to get through. Yes, as you can uh, see, we've got guns setting up here. We've got the nine powder setting up. That, that boy's getting ready to rain hell down on any Frenchies across this uh, road here. So I just got a pretty decent sight. And here we go for <laughs> first shots of the battle. Trying to uh, scare off this French cav, killing a couple. Scare off a few dragoons here and there. But it seems like uh, seems like France has managed to take this hill. It seems like, uh, it seems like Russia's... I mean, they can see all those Russian cav, I'm sure. But... Uh, yeah, no, I, the French are taking this hill is kind of a surprise. I thought with the strength and the, like, the amount of Russian cav, they would certainly uh, take the hill. And you can see yeah, they're raining death down on these uh, on this French cav. And we can see the first French infantry starting to arrive. Looks like this might be like the Spanish uh, like French army. Like the uh, French army in Spain. Just from like their uniforms. That's what I'm gathering. I may be wrong, but they're already getting shelled as well. Always good to see. Always good to see a Frenchie getting shelled. Unless you are a Frenchman yourself, and I'm sure that's it looks terrible, but that's just how it is. Anyway, I love the stars though. Look at their uniforms, looking beautiful. Really, really are. Like, oh boy. That is what a King Sosar should look like. But yeah, no, it seems like uh seems like we're just going to have to maybe just wait and see what the French... I think, like, the French are going to make the advance. They're going to be the ones being aggressive. Kind of surprising since the Russians have so much cap. I feel like they'd be the aggressors. But it seems like the French, I don't know, they're pretty confined. They're already joined. Like, they're all, like, confined together. So, um, well, the Allies are kind of a bit more spread out. Certainly, like, the French... Uh, not the French. The Portugal, uh, like, army over here. The uh, Anglo-Portuguese army. And even the Peninsular army as well. Are a long, long way away. And they're still not moving. These guys need to get moving. They've kind of just stopped on the road. You got the Netherlands army moving up though. This is what was this? This is, this is the uh, okay. This is the Waterloo army. Okay, fair enough. 
I can already hear... Oh, are we going to have a carry fight over here? Surely not. There's a lot of French cab here. This is with version 9.0. Um, I'm kind of going through a few of the old uh, 9.0 replays. Just trying to... Because there's a lot of uh, replays of a lot of different people. I want to try and show them all off. Uh, so we've, uh, we've got a 9.0 one in today. We'll be obviously probably interchanging between 9.1 and 9.0 uh, quite a lot over the next few weeks. But yeah, uh, this one is a 9.0. It should be uh, no different. It should be still exciting. But we will see uh, how this one goes on. I always thought the British were going to be bold there and go for a charge. Well, they might be bold enough, but no, they seem not. I wonder if the French have enough cabs to defend both flanks, because it seems like the British on this flank haven't, when combined, have an awful amount, we an awful lot of it. Up. But, uh, I don't know. It seems like the uh, French are taking the time now to shell the Russians over here. They've got some, a lot of guns here. There's eight guns just shelling the Russians. So, I mean, I'm sure this cab is taking a lot of fire. I mean, they're getting hit a little bit, but not too much. They don't want to group up like this. I would have thought they're going to be hitting like things like the lifeguard here. I would have got, thought they'd be going for. I'm going to rush for the guns. Okay, they're taking buildings. Okay, it's not a bad idea. Uh, what's the other one that they've taken? Taking this one over here in the village, of course. Um, certainly feel like it's a like the positioning of where the allies are. The French, if it was to come down to LOCs, don't really have many that they can go for. Even like the British out here can go for this two pointer. Well, they're going to beat. They could beat the uh, the French to it if they wanted to. Well, I say that they have no infantry out here. But yeah, no. If it was to come down to LOCs, I think that like, the British or the Allies anyway have the advantage. They have so many more behind their lines. Yeah, I don't know why the Russians don't just maybe go for a dash and go try and uh, go for these guns. Or at least they should have maybe like tried to put something into this forest and then snuck around. Like I feel like they've gone for really like heavy. Heavy cav, something like goons, grassiers. I mean, the uh, Guzari, like the Hussars, are not that heavy. But I mean, you want quick moving cav that can just quickly dash up that hill and go and, uh, and go and catch uh, catch them out. But yeah, it seems like they're going to retreat. They are hidden. I mean, these guys are hidden apparently. I'm quite sure how they're getting. I guess maybe the guns are just firing. They know they're in the general area and they're just firing out of hope. But here we go. France is now making a big, big push over here. A lot of infantry moving forward. And the British have nothing yet set up here to uh, like contend against them. I mean, they got stuff in the woods here. But they've only got like cav out in front of them. It seems like the uh, the French they keep pushing this way. Have a lot of joy because there's nothing We've to stop them. The buildings up. There you go. They took another building. Throwing a lot of infantry out. I put the Highland foot into this uh, light foot into this building. I don't kind of really get why you just throw infantry into buildings. You denies yourself having less guns. I know why you take it. I'd, I'd do it later in the game, though. If you're starting to lose, I'd take them. Or if you feel like it, it's a good narrow game, you maybe take them. But, like, I, I wouldn't do it, like, early on because you're just losing a unit that you just could otherwise have on the front line. <laughs> but who knows? But who knows? We have taken the building, sir. He's got another one as well. Look at this. Yeah. I mean, I did say they can have a lot of chance to take hi uh, the LOCs, and they put more hi Highlanders into this building. I mean, good units to be putting into this building, in fairness. And you can see the uh, UK Portugal on the move. Now, as is the Peninsula, it's good to see they've got a lot of infantry here. And at this point, 9.0, uh, Britain is really, really strong. So it's going to be interesting to see how they do in this battle, whether they'll be really, really strong and overpowered and beat the French really easily, or whether it'll be a really close game. It'll be interesting to see. this a storming forward are the French no delay Just looks like we've got some like Italians here as well I wonder what what army this is supposed to be from not sure not sure could be any the Italians served in a lot of places with the French more French appearing over here looks like we've got some cavalry just going ahead is this a general looks like it might be a general here Chilling all the way up here. I might not be. I don't know. It looks like maybe it's a bit. Looks like it might be too big for a general. I'm not sure. That might be a general. So no, that I can't tell. 
I, but I think that might be a general one. It's a bit risky there by the French to bring him just all the way up here. And here we go. French columns in the way. And we already have some shots being fired. What is this unit in here? We've got King's German Legion first foot. Got some decent shots off. Yeah, here we go. The French are starting to arrive in numbers. They've got Poles in this army. Loyal to the Emperor. What else we got back here? This is like it might be the guard or something. Guard unit. Guard armies. Scary force coming into this, uh, into this uh, village, we'll call it, because these are some good looking French units. I mean, when the Poles are usually there, it probably means it's like Vistra Legion or something like that. I don't know. These boys certainly look like they might be some sort of guard unit. Probably like some Swiss Volta Gears here or something like that. I don't know. I don't know. We got some routing over here though. Look at this. The uh, Queen Queen's Light Dragoons look like they were rushing in. What were they going for? I'm not even sure what they were going for. They just kind of like got taken out by two French cow. I don't know if they just got caught out, they got left behind. I'm not entirely sure, but they just got that's the first blood to the French, and look at this. Right on the red line, we've got a little uh, Portuguese cavalry unit, and I guess that's going around. Gonna go and hunt for generals. I mean, we look like we've got one here. He could be uh, taken out at some point. We've got another one all the way back there. So, I mean, as the battle progresses, they are going to be uh, preparing. But here we go. The first line battle's underway. French car. Going straight in. They want to take this village. They're already a charge in as well. The French... No delay here going in. Going in for a charge. Britain is not supposed to be one of the strongest in melee, and you can see straight away. Not a big fan of that, uh, Britain. Uh, these are Hindustan older mortals. Seems like both sides may, may break any points, to be honest. Pretty even fight. Britain breaks first, though. And first blood, indeed, is with the French. And looks like uh, we're going to see what are they after? Are they after the Russian guns? Yeah, there's Russian guns here. And we've got British cab or no we've got Russian cab, sorry, coming in. They can route the French. I mean they may be able to catch this other one. A good save there by the Russian player. Really he needs to uh, protect his uh his guns a little bit better, I think. But yeah, I mean the peninsula army here for the UK, yet to be actually able to get his full force to the front line. I mean it seems like he's scattered a little bit all over the place. As is the uh, like the Portugal army here of UK. Be interesting to see whether France actually puts, pushes around a really strong infantry force around here because it's literally just Russian cab there, nothing else. Whether they're going to decide to decide it with uh, with uh, with French cab, and you can see here we have got uh, like the Grenadiers, uh, Cheval. Like this is a really really nice unit. So definitely the guard is here. If these guys are here. Um, that's a good sign that the guard are here, and this is a really nasty unit. Very expensive, very large. And very nasty unit. Good thing that the uh, Russians brought some of their good gu guard cap for them because they're going to need it. Britain getting underway, starting this fight off really well. With a couple of uh, good long line battles, that's the way to do it. Royal Welsh Fusiliers. And everything else. Fighting for king and country. For tea, and uh, probably, I don't know, for something else as well. Interesting to see what these are. These look like, might be like a German or a Russian unit or something like that. Not sure entirely. But we got, uh, look at this, British cab coming in. We got more Russian guns over here. They need to be, they need to be protected, because uh, otherwise they're going to get hit hard by French cab here. And the Russians might be about to lose their guns. They did break one of the cab with a good volley, but they're not going to get another volley off in time. And this horse artillery is no longer horse artillery. And the Russians are going to lose their guns, but they are going to take out the French cab. Don't know if that's a really a good trade, but there you go. Yeah, and the Russians are bringing over a lot of dragoons in this direction. Wonder whether they'll go for a charge on the French. French are pushing forward here onto the British lines. 
Bird is ready to return the favor. I'm giving him a few a few volleys. Oh, it's good to smell musket fire in the morning. Bit of gunpowder. Always a good way to wake someone up. Yeah, the French, I mean, French has been doing okay so far. It's, it's kind of an expert. Oh, that's not so good. Brennan, what are you doing? You just, oh, no one's not paying attention when guns fire across. Come on, boys. This is, that's poor. They lost a lot of men there, I think, actually. 65 hours, 73. They lost quite a few just that volley. So be careful. Like, it, that's why our three is either going to be on, like, a, a slope or it's going to be on the front line. Just to avoid that sort of thing from happening. Seems like Britain's actually the one giving the ground. I don't know. Well, he sort of pushed forward and then re like he's gone back to the lines he was on. But you can see the French arriving in full force. They've got a lot of hit French. Here. This might be um, either like the Austrian like uh, like French army, like the uh, Austrian campaign army, or it might be the German one. I'm not entirely sure, but they, this is a good-looking French army. I would like. I do like their uniforms. Britain is preparing to uh, face them, and there's a lot of French guns over here. They're going to need a lot more French, uh, British infantry here. I don't know why this, uh, the Portugal army here is not pushing up his troops. But I guess he's maybe taking the offense over here a bit. You can see they're kind of getting sandwiched between uh, British infantry and British cav and the French. This is the British cav. He's getting ready. It wants, to, uh, it wants to pounce. It wants to go for the rear lines of these French. And I feel like the French have uh, got themselves into a bit of a sticky position here. Though there is some French forces around here. Whether this is just a small force, or this might be an entire army, I have no idea. Sounds like there might be a, an army over here. I can hear artillery and stuff moving up, so it might be a relatively sizable force. Who knows? Who knows? Here we go. The British and the French dueling over here now. I love the drummer boy, just uh, the, the whole concept of having a drummer boy in like this period is just so weird, like you're literally giving a child a drum and then uh, and then telling him to go to war, while everyone else has a gun, he has just a drum to protect himself and uh, he's got to play some banging tunes while everyone else, uh, everyone else kills them, uh, like kill, kills each other, not themselves, that's, that's a very effective way to wage war. So as you can see, Sir, our general is under oh, attack. they took out, the uh, British taking out some guns. Look at that, they're taking out one set of French guns and they look like they're going to go and take out some more. Got some, uh, like this little Portuguese cap that we saw earlier that was like red lining. Looks like it's going to try and take out more guns, but I has just seen a load of French cap here. I don't think they'll get away with this. Chasseurs Cheval, they're not having this. they like, you took out one of our guns, you're not taking out another. They should have gone for the, uh, the general. This uh, Portuguese cavalry should have gone for the general, but they are going to get uh, taken out by... What's that, those red lances? Are these red lances? No, these are like... Uh, I don't know what they are. Like a Mameluke unit? Uh, they're not a Mameluke unit. I don't know what they are, but it's a very elite unit. I think it might be a guard unit. Never seen that unit before. Ne oh, I might have seen it, just not often enough to remember it. Probably that. It's a cool unit. A lot of like irregulars over here. It seems like for the uh, French, they're not like don't look very uh, organized. I mean, I'll see. Yeah, it's like the guard units coming up here. Well, they look like it. I was, I don't know. It's the only sign that these are like the uh, Grenadier Cheval. The only sign that I've seen of any guard units. And that maybe that like fancy red unit, that fancy red cab unit. Go on, give us a volley for your emperor. All right, I'll not just get gunned down. There we go. I mean, yeah, these French are kind of getting, getting absolutely destroyed. Their morale is really low. Still not really recovered yet either. They took a lot of losses before they did their first volley. Very interesting. Very, it is kind of interesting actually to see how the French are going to uh, deal with the uh, with the British in this one. So the British getting a bit of a getting a bit, bit of a, a boost while the French got kind of a bit of a nerf. Seems like 
seems like they're certainly doing uh, minimal damage here to the bridge right now. It looks like we're going to see a charge. Oh, Russian camp flying on in. Look at that. Right, going right in. Going to take out some uh, skirmishes. Really well done. And now can this Russian camp get in behind? Go for some charges, maybe? And we're going to see uh, a French unit here come forward. French infantry charge forward. They're trying to take out a little German Legion unit. And they're going to be supported by Connaught Rangers. And there you go, the Connaught Rangers. Probably going to be the ones that are right throughout these uh, infantry. Really well done there. Yeah, this is like, I don't know, it's like the guard are doing okay. They are the guard units. I don't know, yeah, that's really a little bit longer than I thought it was gonna. I'm surprised they didn't charge like the guns here instead. Like why are they charging into this? Like perfectly good guns here that could be taken out. Look at this general rider behind, uh, behind his lines. It's a bit of a risk. You can see the uh, you can see we've got some uh, King's Heaven Legion flanking around. They really want to get some shots onto the flank of this French and even maybe hit the general. Volley, routing Frenchies, send them back to the abyss of which they came from. There you go, routed like that, and now they can hit this general. And it looks like, oh, it was the uh, cab came up. I thought I heard more charging. I was like, what else is charging? Russian cab. But certainly, I'm getting the idea that the uh, French may have the cavalry, in, uh, be cavalry inferior, have the inferior cav. Certainly in just numbers, maybe not in quality, but certainly in numbers. Uh, I mean, it won't have for, won't have it for long if they're going to carry on doing this. Though Russia is walking their dragoons towards the infantry line. But they're going to have to play this smart. They're going to have to do this smart. They need to uh, use their cav in areas where there's like constant fighting going on, like Britain right now. As well, it seems like he, he's got. They've got the uh, the taking of all these French armies at the moment. They can take them on. Do a good job. This is quite. What's going to be quite interesting is like there's this Russian and French standoff over here. We have a lot of cow. Whoever wins this probably wins the fight. Like wins the battle. I'm excited to see who can do the uh, do the damage there. Looks like we got. I don't know. Is this like a German unit, maybe? Looks like a German sort of unit. Yeah, not sure, but that looks like a German sort of unit. That looks like it might be going for the building. They can rush into this building. That's pretty sneaky. Russia looks like he's going to send for some forwards, some uh, Guzari. But maybe this is going to be the catalyst of the cavalry battle. Like if Russia goes in to try and stop this French infantry from taking out the uh, taking the building, I feel like France will then send in his own cab. Oh, they are certainly edging all forward, aren't they? And what we've got over here, we've got Cavalier Guard, we've got Guzari. Oh yeah, here we this go. Here we go. The Russians and the French are about to clash. The charge of the Grenadiers. And in they go. Death and honor for both sides. Oh, it's gonna be a brutal one. Are Britain gonna send us some infantry? Maybe like, I. The Russians are, look like they're struggling in this fight. Looks like, I don't know. They might win this one. No, they lost. Where's Russia's spare cav? They're gonna need some. Britain should have brought some cav up, I think, to this side. Gonna send in more. And Russia looks like he's gonna lose the cav fight. Russia has lost the cav fight. This Cavalier Guard here was just not good enough. And I don't know how banged up this uh, French cab is, but it, it certainly lost quite a lot. Well, I say that, it still looks relatively healthy. And Britain's now battling for this building as well. Looks like he is uh, losing this battle. Some uh, insulin foot going in. They are not going to do so well. And France is making a big push as well in the centre here. Look at this. We've got some uh, Queen's, Ger Queen's own Germans breaking. They seem like they're doing quite well over here with the British initially. And uh, now, because the French have fallen back and they're concentrating in other areas, um, Britain's going to keep a lot of force over here, so just keep an eye on the French. Um, while the rest of the force is a little bit stretched, I'd say. A lot of guns over here, though. These 9-pounders under threat. They need to protect them. There's French cav on the way, because now the Russians are broken. I mean, it's, uh, I feel like this, Rush this uh, British cav here might be able to deal with them. They certainly can't just abandon them. And this is the really, really elite cab here, though. I don't think anything's going to stop that, unless it's the Russian, like, cab, which is, like, all over the place. They need to get, yeah, their lifeguards over here. 
Here we go. Britain's going to go in against France. The Chasseurs, I imagine, won't stand a chance. They are trying to retreat. I think to uh, their friendly French Cav. Who knows? But yeah, I think they're going to get chased down here. I think the French should counter charge. They are not going to counter charge. They are going to try and cut these guys down as they run. I don't know, this doesn't look a good idea. It doesn't seem like these guys are even worried that they're being put down as they retreat. There you go, Britain's been broken, and now there's doesn't look like there's any protect. Oh, actually, the British brought more, more support over here. They've got the King's Journal, uh, Prince's own uh, Dragoon Guards here. This is good. They just need to protect the guns. That's all. They don't need to attack, they just need to protect the guns. The French won this round, but I'm sure there'll be many other rounds to come. It seems like Britain's already giving up uh, this, this first line. We have killed their general, sir. The general's now been killed, though. Play. The general sniped. They uh, shot, must have hit him with a gun, and he is broken. That's huge. That's one of the generals, uh, one of the generals dead for the French. Looks like they try, try to charge forward here with some uh, French cab, maybe trying to get like guns, stop it happening again. Not going to happen. See, that's a bit of a loss. Eh? Look at this. Russians are sitting in. Looks like a little Guzari is trying to take out this, uh, this gun position here. Failed to do so. Did get taken out by some concerns by the looks of it. They're going to get uh, they're gonna get shot in the back as they run away. Cowards. We're seeing a, the uh, Rutlandshire foot now go in. Trying to take this building. But it seems like whatever is in this building that the French put in there is not getting easily pushed out. So the British are also set up and just shooting out and shooting the French. This building's at 5%, so it look, looks like someone's going to be shooting it. French being broken here, look at that. Bit of a loss. I don't know who's winning that. I mean, they say that they're winning slightly, I'm not so sure. The balance of power bar says otherwise. But with the loss of that general over here, I'm sure this French army here is going to be very, very um, unsure about pushing forward. I certainly wouldn't blame them. I mean, they've got a little flank going on here, though. Got some uh, some infantry flanking here. They're hitting these uh, Oxfordshire light foot. They're going to have to retreat now. And it's just little things like this is how you're going to uh, get like Britain out of his like really well dug in positions. Seems like they're not going to give up defending this house here, which is not a bad idea. I mean, we've got a Royal Highland Foot and a Black Watch themselves. Okay, you can't just abandon them. There you go. I mean, the French. Well, they're falling back now. Britain is kind of reasserting himself in this village. They've already, they pushed infantry out here as well. Calibrian free Corps. It's like some uh, Italian troops that are fighting for the British. They're pretty cool. The Saucy Greens, the Herefordshire Foot. What a name. Seems like France is now going to throw more infantry in here. Looks like his first wave, the first original garrison troops got pushed out. Now Britain holds the building. Not looking good though. I don't know what they sent in. What is in here? We've got a Highland Foot in here. Okay. Highland Foot not looking so great. They might break. Oh yeah, they did. Wow, just like that. I'm surprised. Highland Foot is supposed to be hardy people, but there you go. Britain is taking the building. So he hadn't, I guess, officially taken the building. But uh, there you go. They've now kicked them out of this building, and now they kind of hold most of the key points in this uh, in this village. And the French have another, I guess, they're repositioning to come and retake it. Sort of here. I mean, these guys I don't think are going to have much of a chance to break through, but I don't know. Some of them are just standing around waving their muskets. Yeah, these guys are uh, going to get gunned down, I have a feeling. Already their morale is dropping. 
bridge to easily be able to route these guys. This might be the soft underbelly is how Britain uh, breaks through. There's also some Italian gun set up here as well. Britain's going for an all-out charge. Look at this. Oh boy. In they go. Taking them out. That's going to be one. And they're going to be able to get to the guns. Look at that. Straight into the next one. No slowing down. What even is this unit? It's a Connor Rangers. Madmans. They are called the Devil's Own. And no wonder. Look at them. They fight like devils. They need to keep moving. They need to keep moving. Looks like we've got a uh, British Cav over here as well. Look at this. We've got Hussars coming in. They're taking out the guns. Really well done there. And we've got French Cav that's going to try and uh, get some revenge though. And most of these guys enjoy from Square. Oh, they're going for a general. They're going in for Thomas Graham himself. How dare they? And there you go. Britain's lost a general. That is the uh, Britain Portugal army. And there you go. It seems like Britain also is uh, getting charged here. It's not so good with the lack of uh, loss of their general. This may do damage to the morale. And they've killed another general, though. They've actually managed to get a... Uh, oh, my gosh. There's a big carry uh, battle over here. They managed to get another general uh, over here. So, uh, yeah, they're doing a lot of work. And, uh, I mean, the King's Hussars. I don't know why they just don't carry on the fight. They're a healthy unit. 50 men. Well, they're just going to break if they do this. King's uh, Irish Hussars. They're retreating as well. Look at this. Russia also going in hard. And he's taking out all of the French camp on this side. So this French army here looking pretty rough. Yeah, those King's Hussars, look at that breaking. They were pretty healthy as well. Strange. We've got the uh, Irish Hussars. They're still doing damage. Doing damage to these, uh, uh, these Dragoons here. And look at this. Absolute mess by the uh, as they charge in. Looks like they're taking out some sort of guard unit. a pretty elite unit. I don't know what that is. It's retreating though. In the face of the Connaught Rangers and the Prince of Wales Volunteers. And it's all chaos. The centre of the French force here is kind of just broken. Running, That's a huge, huge loss there. But look at this. Russia just flying on in with his cab. Breaking all sorts of French infantry. I don't know how much of this can form square, but clearly not enough. Clearly not enough. I mean, this uh, elite French cab here is still, uh, still around. I mean, that's a scary, scary sight. I'll give you that. And then the chasseurs here as well. I mean, they're not the scary sight, but they're, they're good to have this still have some cab. And France now making offences over here again. I feel like the, fr the, like the threat is gone because the Russian cab has shifted across. Britain doesn't have too much in the way of infantry here. Now is the time to push forward with the columns. Now is the time to repel them, though, Britain. Firing behind your little sunken wall. What we got here? We got some Wel the Welsh Fusiliers they're holding. Seems like France is having to shift his forces like, away from here. Maybe go back to the sense to try and rejoin up with the uh, his other French like allies, which well, what remains them anyway. There's a lot of routing French here. You can see they are being chased out of the village and like a long way. You go, there's like poles here that are being chased out. Not looking good. So we've got some of these guard units here. Yeah, not looking good for the French. They got like well and truly scared out of this village, and. Uh, I mean, I don't know where they're going to retreat to. Maybe to one of like the LOCs over here. I mean, it would be uh, maybe in their idea to go to the two-pointer or maybe to the one-pointer. I don't know. Trying to regather, regather there. I don't know. Interesting. So it'd be interesting to see what they do. But it seems like France is uh, now being pushed on here by the uh, by the British. Got his uh, infantry set up here. Let's have a let's have a volley, France. You're going to need to fire off a few shots. They're bringing up their guns. They're going to get them closer. Maybe preparing for canister. Who knows. There you go, Britain's firing. Doesn't seem like the French are interested in firing, though. I'm kind of surprised. This is probably where they're losing the fight. You need to fire, France. Fire. They're firing over here, though. Giving up, not giving up the uh, the fight in this little, uh, this little like vineyard or something like this. They're outgunned, though. They're very much outgunned. They're outgunned across the front. Is this another little general? Is this another general here? I don't know if this is like the general has been sniped because he did get 
like snipes. I don't know if this was him. Might be a different one. Who knows? But uh, I mean, France needs to turn around. This is certainly not going to help him either. Looking the wrong way. It seems like the only action really going on is over here, but it's not too much really. Only a little bit going on. The battle is certainly quieting down since the, uh, the carry charging and the infantry charging by Britain as well. Really brave stuff. I have a volley here though. And now the Sandler are treated Britain. Interesting. I guess maybe they worry about the gun setting up. I'm not really sure. Not entirely sure. I mean, they should get this unit here, this Queen's Royal Foot, and they should flank. I, don't, I guess, like, yeah, they can't go over that. It's like a, a wall of earth, I don't know. They should really try and, like, flank around at some point and try and get around these French units here. I mean, definitely rushing through this little, like, choke point here would be death. Let's try and take that. Oh, we got French Cave. Look at this. Where did these cuirassiers come from? Oh, my God. And there's all sorts of French. Look at this. The French are making an offensive on this side. we got cuirassiers here. We've got, uh, like... Chasseur Cheval, all coming in. They're now being dealt with by the uh, the Dragoon Guards. And that's going to be a problem. But yeah, I did not even realize this was going on. I was like just busy looking at like, the infantry over here. And then all of a sudden, Kirasi is in behind. And they're getting uh, taken out now in the rear. They clearly can't break this one the infantry. It's not even in square. And they've uh, been broken. Look at that. The little sneak and push there by the uh, French. Didn't come to anything. And now we've got Dragoons here. Routing French infantry. This French infantry is probably taking forever to march all the way around to this vineyard and is uh, now getting routed. What a shame. He's probably taking so much time. His sneak attack has not been so uh, effective. There you go. Beat him back. French infantry as well over here getting broken as well. Clearly though the British were reacting just as much as me. They didn't uh, react to, uh, didn't see it coming either. Look at this, France making another push here. Still got plenty of infantry here though. I mean they're way on this road. I guess they're not too interested about making another push around there. But yeah, it seems like France is going to go back into the, fo uh, into, the uh, into the village. In strength as well. Go. Gonna fire a few volleys, scare off the British. But now, if I was the uh, if I was the British, I'd be even thinking about making a push in here. I don't know. I feel like it's it's the right time. The, Fre the French have got some returning units on the side, but never going to be the same if they've been broken once. And if all it takes is the Russians to charge them again. I think they I don't know if these units can form square. Here we go. France is returning. Got like one little Connaught Rangers here, but it is the Devil's Zone as we've been over. You can't see them over there. There is a whole host of French to the side, including looks like another. Oh, this is a Dragoon unit. I thought it was Kiasi when I first saw it. No, and they, look, they are going to go in though. To the Devil's Zone. They're going to go to combat. And they have been routed. The Devil's Zone has been routed. It's a sad sight. Yeah, you can see over here. This is certainly a good, good push here by the French. They've managed to isolate. About six or so units of, uh, of, French, of British infantry. Man, so I say them. Now the Russians are pushing forward with their lifeguard cuirassiers. Trying to do some damage. Wasn't the great charge. They need to get out of there and maybe try and uh, try and reattempt another charge somewhere else. I mean, if they push, really push forward the uh, French here. But I guess they got scared off by the lifeguards. They managed to push through here. They would have been able to isolate these uh, British units. Why is he? Look at this. Got a horse artillery rushing up. This is going to go into the line here and try and like put some rounds into the uh, French infantry. Not a bad idea. Not a bad idea. But both sides are, uh, are thinning out, put it like that. I don't know how much exactly the French have left, but uh, it, it can't be much more. They're, they're not making as many pushes as they were earlier. Not. I think they lost a lot when uh, they were fighting out here. They lost a real lot. Certainly their cab. They've lost a lot of that. Like Thomas. Oh, this is. Jack. You be careful. Oh, look at this. 
Lowry Cole here, he's just stood right in front of some infantry, the Calibri and Fury Cole. I'm sure he would not be appreciated if he was gunned down by some Italians. They're serving with them. Okay, we've got these uh, horse artillery here. I mean, the uniforms look really nice. Look at that, look at the back of this uniform. It looks pretty nice, you know. Like little details like that. It, lo it looks good. It's all like, I don't know, suppression or German gear that's hiding out in the uh, in the undergrowth. Getting pretty beaten up though. Morale is not looking too hot for some of the French units. Also a little jewel out here. Look at this, what, what we got here. Oh. Units using all ammunition, I don't see that often. Uh, Queen's Light Dragoons, they return. They broke really early on and they've returned. They may, uh, they've routed one French unit. Could they route another? Quite possibly. Prepare to receive a British volley. What are they being shot by King's German Legion Light Foot and they've been broken. Just like that. King's German Legion Light Foot doing their job. The Green Rascals. Very good, very good. The French getting repulsed here in the center again. I'm seeing a few units break. But yeah, they've been fighting so long that they're actually running out of ammo. That's a concerning sign. We've got the Hunter Young Buff there. They're coming forward. Can't really see who's shooting at who. They're firing into undergrowth. Can't be getting many hits. Look at the bodies. So many bodies here. It's insane. I'm here in charging. I'm here in charging. French charging. They're going to go in for this uh, line infantry on the side here. They're going to the They can form square and they didn't. No one's really been forming square to be fair. Not being very aware with the cavalry. And then the lifeguards coming in, and they're going to come and uh, scare off the French camp for sure. But at the cost of a lot of the line infantry, you don't want to just be throwing away your line infantry. There we go, the Grenadiers going in. They're going to try and take on this uh, lifeguard. I don't know if they can do it. Oh, I don't know. They're dropping pretty quickly. They're losing slightly. But they got broken. They got broken. Did the uh, French cab, the elite French cab, is gone. And that may be the, uh, the beginning of the end for the French. They're breaking over here. I don't know. I don't know. They, did they just rally? No, this is a different unit. This is a Dragoon unit. I honestly thought they may have just rallied. It's like, oh my gosh. They're so good. They're too good. They are going into the Dragoons. No slowing down. I'm trying to catch these Dragoons. I don't know if they will. They caught some of them, but I don't know if they'll catch the entire unit. And look at this. France now exiting the village very, very quickly. Still entrenched, though, over here. Look at this. Be careful here. They've got two units overlapping with the French. They're going to be shooting each other. Unnecessary. Can't be taking unnecessary losses this time. It looks like we're about to see them. About to see them sally out. I don't know if victory is uh, in anyone's hand right now. It's still very, very close. Here we go. France is about to go for a big push. And he's uh, North Lincolnshire foot here. They're going to have to uh, make a charge at some point. Just trying to avoid the French charging them. They, I think that general there was the ghost general because he uh, just charged forward there and just got shot and we got no notification. But look at this, they have kind of like got in between and in behind the uh, British lines. Why they couldn't do this earlier when the uh, French had large forces there, I don't know. This is not going to end well for the French, they're just kind of pushing forward here. Getting gunned down. What can I hear charging? I don't know. Maybe that was it. We've got more French infantry pushing forward here.
Britain though, not giving him the chance to charge. They'd rather just shoot at them. Which I don't blame them. Seems like Britain is just like beating France right now in every single musket fight. But yeah, no, I'd say like France is in uh, kind of in full retreat at this point now. I'm gonna fast forward a little bit, uh, just to see whether like just to see this final big musket battle that's gonna take place here, or like gunfight is gonna take place. You do wonder uh, where the French will stand, whether they'll want to stand here or whether they'll want to uh, retreat to an LOC. I'm not sure, but something makes me feel like if it's gonna be anywhere, it's gonna be here. What do we got over here? We have like a lot of... This infantry keeps returning. The sneaky infantry keeps returning. But the French are fully defeated over here. Um, it is now just down to the French forces over here. Which I mean, I feel like the uh, the Russians and the British could just harass with their cav. They probably do enough damage. Apologies. Uh, for some reason, the replay decided to just like... Just like pause? Or just like... I don't know. Not quite sure entirely what happened. But uh, we are back anyway. And uh, yeah, King's German Legion still dueling with the French infantry here. We've got a uh, King's German oh, King German Germans coming up. I like how they have the uh, the Spanish flag. Some reason I don't know why you'd have that? You'd be surely you'd be waving the British flag. You'd be waving the Spanish flag. They're all Spanish troops. But yeah, the French in uh, retreat even more. Getting outgunned, outpositioned. Well, I'd say it's probably not getting out, out positioned, but they just don't have the uh, have the many siege dragoons coming in. They look like they might be going for a charge. They might as well. They might as well charge these units. These are regulars. Do they want to get in and get behind and get these ones? I don't know. I'm gonna charge in here. Here we go. Route as much as they can. These guys can form a square, but not all of them, it would seem. And there you go, the Russians going in ham with their dragoons. Causing all sorts of havoc. They've routed about six units there. Six or seven units just got routed by one Russian dragoon. Shows the power of cav in this game. Against ill disciplined uh, units. It's got like this uh, artillery as well. It's just shuffling up as the uh, line of advance is retreating. Making sure it stays very close. It looks like the French might be pushing forward here. And here we go. Green Rascals. It looks like the French are going to go for one last Hazar. Go for a charge. I don't know what the unit is, but it looks like a Prussian sort of unit. It's not broken. There you go. The, the French is getting entirely routed now, and it's no surprise. It's kind of what was expected to happen. They did actually just route. Well, they both routed. Okay, they did route the uh, Russian dragoons at the end of the day, which I guess is a small victory. And uh, the, I mean, the general here is just ready to get killed, accepting his fate. They're not even gonna try. Why didn't the lifeguard just charge this unit? It didn't form square. We have killed their there you go. General's been killed, and that's. I think the final general will be killed for the French. I think there's no others. Oh yeah, they did form square. I mean, they form square now. Didn't form square early. I mean, all he needs is just like the British to come up with an infantry. Oh, they broke in square. There you go. And that's gonna be it. I think there's no other units for the French on the battlefield. Um, I may be wrong, but we will we will fast forward just quickly. And there we go. Yeah, a victory for the uh, for the British. It was a really really good battle. I believe this one was sent in by uh, by Reed. I may be sh I may be incorrect there. Um, but I believe this one was sent in by Reed, who was playing as the UK Netherlands. Um, I may be wrong. Like I said, it may have been uh, someone else. Do I do apologise uh, if I could get it wrong. Um, but yeah, well done to Chaplin, to Reed, to Hammer, and to Black Belgian, all playing as uh, like the Allied forces. All did really really well. Actually, it'll be easy to tell who it is. Uh, um, send this one in. Yeah, it was the uh, like the Netherlands um, player. There you go. So yeah, thank you, Reed, to send this one in. Um, well done as well to uh, Rayu, who's playing as France Austria. Um, 
well into uh, NCW 3 porn star. He was playing as France, Spain. And then we had another France, Austria, and another France, Spain. So we had to... Okay, so there's no guards. There were just some guard units that were in there. Okay, fair enough. Um, yeah, all did really, really well did the uh, Allied forces. None of the French actually managed to get even a thousand kills. It's very surprising. Shows the strength of the British at this time. Unit kills. Um, best we have... I mean, well, actually, there we go. 182, 153, 149, 125, 120. Got some pretty good kills here. Um, I mean, one of them, King's German Legion, Horse Artillery King, 150 kills. Really well done. But yes, if you enjoyed, then do remember to leave a like, subscribe if you're around here, and a comment to show your support. And until next time, I will see you in the next one.